Okay, hey guys, um, Bill here talking about uh, my first week of my pre-contest diet. Um, it went well. I'm down about two and a half pounds, and that was in six days, I think. Weighed myself on Sunday, and then again on Saturday. I'm be, and the reason I did that, I'm just going to do once a week, but I'm going to do it every Saturday now, um, because it will be before uh, any refeed that I do, and I'll talk about that today. Refeeds, I'll probably do them on Saturdays. Um, Either way, I want to weigh myself before that because my refeed will help, uh, actually increase my weight a, a little bit just for a day or two. And I'll explain why in a minute. Um, so, yeah, good first week. I settled into the diet. I um, figured out the cramping issues and my muscle cramping and just really been super hydrated, feel pretty good. Um, was able to, my workouts started to feel a little better towards the end of the week. And I'm looking forward to this week. Um, I think they're going to really start to be awesome. I actually expect my workouts to be some of my best in a long time. My body's like really properly fueled. I feel like I'm running on high octane fuel right now. It's awesome. Uh, my calories aren't that low yet, so I should be really crushing it. Um, hopefully, we'll see how, how, how this week goes. I'm, I'm looking forward. We're doing deadlifts today. See, see how they go. Um, expect some big numbers to come up off the floor. So that's a little recap of the week. Um, I haven't been too hungry, a little bit at night, just because I'm carb targeting, um, a little bit at night because my carbs are super low. Uh, by the time I get to my last meal to the day, uh, so yeah, I'm a little hungry at night, it's not too bad, nothing crazy, um, and it's worth it for the carb targeting. There was a few questions last week about whether or not you should do this type of nutrition plan if you're just trying to lose body fat, you're not trying to do a bodybuilding competition. I explained that a little bit in our member Facebook group, or for you guys that um, are maybe are not members of CrossFit Renaissance or just not in that group for some reason. Um, the answer is maybe. Maybe you should do a nutrition plan like this. And I think the big question was carb targeting. Should you carb target around your workouts? So do you eat the majority of your carbohydrate around your workout? And the reason I say maybe is because you gotta be very meticulous with your macronutrients. Um, and track them seven days a week, tw um, you know, for a month or so at least. Be, be committed, I mean, to tracking your macros. Um, otherwise, it doesn't matter as much. Yes, you can get some of the benefits of that, and you can refer to last week's work video uh, for the benefits of carb targeting. Um, and also, you want to make sure you're in, for, on a cal in a calorie deficit, because if you're not in a calorie deficit and you carb target, it's not like it's bad. It will still get some of the intended benefit. It's just not as important. Um, most likely because we're trying to mitigate some of those hormones that are catabolic around our training by increasing our carbohydrate. Again, I'm not going to get into it again this week. We did it last week. Um, but uh, you probably don't have to do it. You, you can probably run straight macros throughout the day. Um, just split your, split your food up evenly throughout the day. If you want to go a little bit more pre and post workout on your carbs, that's fine. I don't think you need to get too crazy with it. Um, uh, I, I, I've gotten fairly lean before without carb targeting. I'm just trying to do the absolute best that I can with my nutrition this time around, and this seems to be the way to go. Cool. Um, if you have any questions again about last week's video, just post it underneath uh, that video or any, uh, any, anywhere else you see this video, and I'll try to answer it for you guys. Okay, let's get into this week. Um, this week, I am probably going to do a refeed at the end of the week, and I'm going to talk about the reasons why. One of the big things I want to talk to you today about today is uh, leptin. Leptin, uh, another hormone in the body, another, another chemical in the body that is very, very important for fat loss. Um, the research on this has really ramped up over the last decade. Um, we used to think it was all insulin and cortisol and stuff like that, and those are important, but leptin is probably the most important thing to think about when we're looking at um, fat loss. Okay, so basically leptin um, is, is, is something that is increased uh, when, uh, when, we have, when our metabolism is higher, our leptin is higher. And basically, um, when your, it, your body is full, uh, it sends a, uh, a message to the brain to increase the leptin to let us know that we're full, that it's time to stop eating. Okay, uh, and, it's, and when we're full, and when our body perceives that we're full, so increased leptin lets it know that, that's how it signals it, um, our body will let us burn body fat, okay? When our leptin uh, gets reduced, so when our, when our leptin levels drop, 
our body will think we are starving and cut the body fat uh, burning off or down significantly. So this is what happens to a lot of people when they first start to diet. Huge progress in the beginning. Um, you know, you might lose two pounds in a week, you might lose five pounds in a week, and in a month you might lose 15 or 20. Not unheard of. It is like, you know, the, how I found it, the holy grail. I just dropped my calories a thousand um, below my, my maintenance levels per day. You'll drop a ton of weight. Uh, you'll also drop muscle mass uh, there, but you know, that's not really the topic today. But what happens is your body's not stupid. Our body's not engineered to look good on the beach. Um, they're engineered to survive. They're engineered to survive feast and famine. We're operating off of old software. We're operating off of software that's 10,000 years old or more. Uh, back when we used to have a big meal once or twice a week, um, go hunt and gather and get all of our stuff that we're gonna eat, eat that meal, um, you know, rev that metabolism up, your body's good, it's, it's feeling happy, and then as soon as you don't have food again, your body drops that metabolism so you don't die. So that's what we're operating off of. And one of the things that controls that is leptin. So as we diet, we have to be conscious that when we're in a calorie deficit, our leptin levels are going to drop. They have to, they have to. No matter what else we do, no matter what strategies we take, even if you do the same strategies that I'm doing right now with carb targeting and all that stuff, again from last week, your leptin levels will drop, okay? Um, so we need to systematically control our leptin levels. Um, one of the best ways to do that, if, again, if you're in a calorie deficit only over a period of time, is to have what we call a, a refeed day. A refeed day is not a cheat day, guys. Um, a refeed day is targeted at increasing your leptin levels. Um, you, so basically what I'm going to do um, on my refeed days, I'm going to go back to my uh, BMR level, my maintenance level of calories. Um, for me, which is about 27 or 2800 calories. I have to check my, check my numbers again, something like that. Um, and I'm going to make those calories uh, up in during that day in a way that increases my leptin levels. And how I increase my leptin levels um, is basically through carbohydrate. Okay, so what I need to do on that day is I need to take um, those calories, 2,800 calories. I need to make I need to take about a 50 to 100 percent jump in carbohydrate. So my daily carbohydrate now is 175. Um, I need to at least go up at 50 percent. Um, possibly by 100%. I'll probably split it in the middle and go 75. Um, and I'll, I'll reduce my protein a little bit because I don't really need protein. It doesn't affect leptin all that much. And the one thing I really need to do is decrease my fat on that day. Okay, Fat has a negative effect um, usually on leptin levels, um, at least a neutral effect, but, but usually a negative effect. So that's why I said it's not a cheat day. Unfortunately, you know, if you're training to get super lean, um, super lean, low body fat, get ready for a physique competition. You know, a refeed day for some people, if you don't understand it, it sounds like a cheat day. You can go ham at Ben and Jerry's all day and eat pizza and it sounds like, it, you know, a smorgasbord, you just go to the all you can eat buffet. Unfortunately, it's not like that. I just have to um, increase those carbs because that's what affects leptin levels. And what it's gonna do is gonna tell my body, okay, we're not starving, um, we're, we can increase the leptin levels again, we can get, this, we can get that metabolism moving along. So that's what I'm gonna probably do um, Friday or Saturday this week. Increase, um, like I just said, that whole plan to increase them leptin levels. Um, there's a few factors to consider uh, if you're going to follow this plan along. Um, your body type's important. So if you know you're, there's three body types: endomorph, mesomorph, and ectomorph. I'll get into that maybe next week. Um, and the other, so that's one thing that is kind of important. The, the thing that's most important is your current body fat level, okay? Uh, for men, if you're above 15%, which is probably where I am, somewhere in that range, I'm gonna say that's where I am, um, I probably don't need a refeed maybe every two weeks from now. As my body fat level decreases, okay, I'm gonna need more often refeed. So I'll probably go from a once every two week refeed for the first month or so, and then go to like a once every week refeed, okay? And then as I get leaner, as I get down to 8%, 7%, 6% body fat, I might have to consider going to a, um, you know, a, a twice a week refeed. 
and that'll be different. And if I get there, I'll explain that all to you guys too. But that's this week, that's what it looks like. So far, so good, but we're only one week in. Um, stay tuned. Um, I'm, the, oh, the last thing, guys, I'm taking pictures right now. Um, take some today. I'll probably release them after I get about a month in so we can see some progress along the way. Um, man, the first pictures were kind of sloppy, so you get to see those, um, you know, those before pictures and get some, after, like, you know, progress or after pictures as we go along. All right, guys, have a good training week.